Hello everyone and welcome to Fluent Financials, What You Should Know for the week of December 14th. My name is Mike Lanise and I'm your Portfolio Manager at Fluent Financial. This past week, the S&P and the NASDAQ fell Friday, weighed by the continued stalemate of the coronavirus stimulus deal. But the Dow Jones average eked out a slight gain, but that could be contributed to Disney, which added over 150 points to the average. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced a halt of all indoor dining at New York City restaurants. And then you also have the issue of the weather there causing the outdoor dining to be limited. So New York City is not in a good way as far as the shutdown. The company's hardest hit by the pandemic, including Carnival, United Airlines, and Gap, were some of Friday's biggest losers. More progress on the COVID vaccine happened during this past week, but the November rally may have priced in all of the good news. What we are seeing right now is a market rotation where you have the top five S&P 500 stocks down 2.1% since the beginning of November, whereas the S&P itself has returned 4.4%. For some perspective, through October, the five largest S&P companies, which are your FANG names, returned 38.6% up through October, while the rest of the index was down 4.8%. For the week, the S&P fell 1%, while the NASDAQ lost 0.7%, and the Dow slipped 0.6%. For the week ahead, we have light earnings with FedEx and Nike reporting. Also look for the Federal Drug Administration, the FDA, to review the efficacy of Moderna's vaccine on December 17th. The Federal Reserve will be in the spotlight, but no changes are expected in their policy to come out in their FOMC meeting. On December 16th. Stress test on big banks begin this next week on December 18th. You also have uh, President Trump's challenge to the courts continuing on election results. This past Friday, late in the day, Texas had a challenge with the U.S. Supreme Court that the U.S. Supreme Court rejected because it said Texas failed to show how it was actually hurt by the five states it was suing for election irregularities. For an options update, we are three weeks through a four-week option cycle, and the average cash is 1.48 generated in the stock income portfolio with 70% of the possible calls sold. We have about 40% of those calls that are in the money right now. And then we also have ADV portfolio, which is the Advantage portfolio. It has sold 100% of the possible calls and generated 1.54% in cash. 100% of these calls are actually in the money, though, with the markets just off of record all-time highs. As always, thank you for tuning in to What You Should Know, and have a great week.